Howdy folks. We're here on 106. It is Monday. Yeah, why not? We'll go this way today. Fucks I can have. Morning. I've got my MRI tomorrow to find out what's up with my shoulder because it's still bothering me. That's whatever. The weather's pretty nice today. A little cold. It's in the 40s. I mean, sweatpants, hoodie, and an Under Armour. We're good. Hold on. Let me make this fucking light a third. Do I want to go through the park and talk to you guys today? Actually, that doesn't sound half bad. Oh, just took this little old lady out. Well, I guess I could give you guys an update too. Oh, wind is fucking with me. Yeah, I'll give you guys a little update on. Uh, what do you want, Mr. Police Officer? With his lights on in the middle of the road. So I'll give you guys an update on what's going on. We got big things coming. Coming up on Madison now. All right, I gotta go back up to 110. You guys, I went to 106. But I'm gonna roll through the park today. I'll give you guys some nice views. There should be people in there. And the sun's out. So I only got an hour before work, which kind of sucks. That's okay. I still have to lead a normal tax paying life and earn money. I've got a lot of ideas that I want to do, but they take time and money. talk about today. I want to catch you guys up on what's going out with the dropouts. Give you guys the plan for the next week or so. Oh, another thing. I um, I was lazy this weekend and the weather was really shitty last week so I didn't film so sorry about that. I really wish I could have but between stuff for school, phone calls with people, about the business and the shitty weather. I only got to film once last week, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, you are in the park now. Super pretty. But I gotta climb Harlem Hill, which everybody knows sucks. Hang on, let me turn this around. You guys can climb it with me. I fucking hate hills. Oh, this is gonna take like three minutes. And I got a little bit of a headwind. It's cold, so my knee is sore. Old soccer injury. Whatever though. Uh, this shit fucking blows. For you, those of you that don't live in New York, you think around this curve, it evens out. You're like, oh, that's not that bad of a hill. Uh, just keeps going and fucking going. And I'm doing it one fucking handed. 5117 out here. Stupid mistakes. Nice bikes. People looking at you funny because you're talking to a camera. But it's all good. You know, chase dreams. Almost there. Holy moly bully. Now I get to go fast for a second. Recover, recover. So this is the northwest side of the park, 100th Street to be exact. I need like a cross bike for work, so I'm not out here riding a Das Naranta team bike on a 51-17 ratio 
with tons of parts that I can't even have replaced. So what's going on with the dropouts? Circa one week after I dropped the Monster Track video. Things are going well. I had some designs that I made myself. And uh, my cousin, she's a graphic designer. So I sent her the logos that I made. I was like, hey, is there any chance you can just help me out real quick and touch some of these up for me? She definitely touched them up a little bit. If you guys follow me on Instagram at the dropouts NYC. Uh, I had pretty much 11 logos posted on uh, on my story for a day. So while that was also going on, while I was waiting for the turnaround, um, I decided to pull the trigger on a bunch of Gildan shit. And I got the really super nice, good quality. So when I decide to charge you guys outrageous prices for my time and my money, you'll understand why. But that's not until we get to explaining a little deeper. So I'm gonna be doing four items. Doing a t-shirt, a long sleeve tee, a hoodie, and a jacket. Like a coach jacket. Hold on, it's windy. Coming down this little hill. Uh, Alright, we're back up. On the up and up but uh so those four items I'm doing ten of each I'm keeping one for myself I'm giving eight away free of charge um, to kids on track bikes maybe someone that skates someone that rides BMX basically people that want to be outside all day and once everything is made in about a week or so, because I'm still looking for print shops. Oh, if you're a print shop, email me. It's the dropouts mail at Gmail. Um, if you're a print shop and you want to help me out and give me a good price, I will absolutely pay you for your time. That's not a problem. So while everything is getting printed, I will figure out who and what I want to do as far as giving this stuff away to guys. I'd like to work out some sort of sponsorship deal and return for content. I'll be launching four times a year and you'll get one of everything that I make. If I make four items, 10 items, 50 items, you'll get one of everything. The big thing is nothing's for sale, except for one piece, but I'm gonna charge ridiculous money. Case being, I'm out of pocket for all this shit. Smoke it? Funny. So yeah, the friends are going to get blessed. I just want exposure for this. Everything's coming out of my pocket. And the reason I'm just going to sell one item for my own run, not even the stuff that if other people want to work with me, I do collaborations with them, they can keep their money. Use my logos, give me exposure. What I want is if I sell you a hoodie for 150 bucks, or 200 bucks or 500 bucks it's because if you have the money for that I'm not selling my friends clothes I'm giving my friends clothes if you have the money to buy my shit and you want to be down with it cool support and I'll give you the credit and say look these people know that you don't need to spend $500 on a hoodie or $150 on a hoodie I honestly have no idea what the price is I'm just throwing numbers um, you don't really need you can afford a hoodie that much, but you don't need a hoodie that much. So the people that wanna support the brand, help me make my money back from throwing a good amount of money, um, pretty much my whole tax returns actually, but a good amount of money at making some clothes from who about who I am and what I am and doing what I'm doing, Uh, 
Um, OG sitting in the park. What was I saying? What was I saying? Lose your whole fucking train of thought. Such a burnout. It'll come back to me. Those people that want to support what we're doing, those are the people I want to buy my shit. Everybody else, go earn it. Perfect your craft. Go outside, skate every day. Go outside, ride your bike every day. Go outside, BMX every day. Go snowboard every day. But this brand is about earning your keep. And I'm past that. I left once. And I haven't really proven myself other than the fact that I can, I'm out here and I do this. But I'm not expecting anybody to come out the woodwork, you know? So for the people that want my shit, get at me. Let me know. Because I'm out here with a fucking selfie stick and an iPhone 6. Just creating content on YouTube and trying to give some free clothes away to my friends. If you got it, get at me. Because people that deserve recognition are going to get recognition. Alright? Anyway, I'm up on Columbus Circle. I'm going to, I guess, end it here. Good talk. Probably shitty and boring, but just a little view of the park and catching you guys up on the immediate plan for uh, uh, the dropouts and where I'm at in my head and how we're going to figure out things once these clothes are done. And when they are done, expect a photo shoot with some of the bros. And I might wind up giving some free shit too. Oh, this is tight. Yes. Oh no, I missed the light. All right, anyway. Oh, that's pretty. I saw it. Um, so yeah, caught you up on what we're doing as far as the clothing stuff goes. Follow me on Instagram. I post like. I also need a camera setup and a mic because this iPhone shit, while I do want to keep it simple and keep it real, shit's not easy. That being said, follow me on a gram. We're gonna have a ton of cool shit coming up leading up to Red Hook. Meeting up with bros from all over the world. All right, stay up. Try to do some fucking fun shit today, guys, because it's beautiful out. <laughs>